What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is the 1st of March. Time is moving along here. We're going to look at Bed Bath & Beyond here, a little midday update as we are finally in the green. Looks like we have some news out. Bed Bath & Beyond just made its past due interest payments. Maybe that is why the price is moving, but I figured I would share that if you are not aware of that news. So I guess they are behind on some of their um, past due interest payments, and they settled up there. Let's head over to the charts, guys. Here we are on a daily chart, BBBY, Bed Bath & Beyond couple things here. We are currently up 5.32%. Today hit a high of 156. We are currently trading at 149. We still remain long Bed Bath & Beyond from $1.55. We continue to hold that so far. So good. A couple things here. Um, it looks like we actually backed off of that level, oddly enough. So I have a RSI on the bottom of the screen, the relative strength index. And if we take a look back here, I want to slightly, actually we'll just zoom in for, for this video, we'll zoom in here. So we have, I have a circle here. And the reason why I have a circle here is I'm highlighting this bar from the sixth. The reason why is in the last Bed Bath & Beyond video, if we could hold that low and not undercut it, that would be good. That would mean we're putting in a higher low. We're in the process of building a higher low here, and then maybe we get some kind of a relief rally or at least a pop or so to the upside for a day or two or even longer, and then maybe the trend does continue downward. We'll see. If, that's, if that is what's taking place, it's taking its sweet old time. Something of concern is the RSI is not really, I mean, it's oversold, but it's been way more oversold than where it's currently at. So that doesn't mean that we won't get a move to the upside, but strictly based on RSI, that tells us that potentially the price could go lower. We have not seen a crossover, which, so a crossover of, let's see here, the shorter term moving line here, which would be the purple is not crossed over the yellow. Like I said, for what that's worth, I'm not much into RSI, but I figured for this video, we will put it on there and show that when we get these so you can see here that we'll go back to that in one moment. We've had this decent grind to the downside for a while, and then you get a plunge right into earnings. And that is what ultimately makes the RSI extremely oversold. And of course, that was the bottom for that period of time. Saying that earnings is out here, it looks like the 12th of April, which will be earnings. So yes, Wednesday, April 12th is the date. Saying that, we could kind of slide to choppy, choppiness action in the chart for, um, you know, up until April 12th. Maybe we see a similar move that is what t uh, took place back in the last earnings cycle, and then we get a, you know, a plunge down. RSI gets oversold, and then we get that you know big, big bounce, maybe up here to the sevens or nines. Just one scenario, guys. But based on RSI, market is not quite oversold yet. If we take a look back here to this period, let me put a circle around it so it's easier for you guys to see. So if we take a look at call it this day here, which was the 1st of July in 2022. We had an RSI reading. Let's see, the RSI was, our shorter term was at a 25. So we were below our 30 mark. 
where we are currently sitting at for RSI as of yesterday was a 39 and today is obviously slightly higher at a 40. So even though this wasn't a crazy sell-off bottom, although we did have a gap down, the RSI did bottom for that time period at 25. So it doesn't always have to get down to something like this, which was a 19, but you know, when you get extremely oversold like that, especially a waterfall move to the downside, a reaction in the opposite direction, do expect. So it could be a sideways grind, guys, up until earnings, which is the 12th of April. So that is more than it's basically a month and a half away before maybe we see the next major pop to the upside. That's kind of what I see here for Bed Bath & Beyond, I'm not saying it's not oversold. I do believe it's oversold using the RSI, slightly disagreeing there with that. The RSI tells us that we could potentially grind a little lower before we get similar readings to what we've had in the past when the markets bottomed and then had a relief rally. Up 5.32% right now. We remain long. If things start to get more ugly, we will be stopped out. Then we'll just reestablish. But for right now, we are holding. Maybe we do get a nice relief rally before the RSI gets ridiculously oversold. So that is my thoughts here. Looking at what has taken place in the past and then maybe what to expect moving forward. We'll have to see if the markets can cooperate. Doesn't seem like the markets are doing too much today. A little bit of a grind higher, but nothing. Uh, they still seem a little bit heavy. So let me know your thoughts, guys, on Bed Bath and Beyond down in the comments. Do you think it's going higher? Do you think it's going lower? You know my stance. We're long and we remain long. And if things get ugly, we'll get stopped out. That's fine. We'll reestablish down the road if we see some more strength. But so far, still long from the 150 Five. We have targets up here in the sevens to nines and then much higher. Anything's possible. These guys, this company is basically in trouble. At least that is the show they're putting on for us. Lots of stores closing. Um, so on a news event, of course, you could get a massive, massive pop to the upside. But who knows? Thanks for watching, guys. Welcome to the channel. If you are not yet subscribed, go ahead. Hit that subscribe button. Appreciate it. Channel is growing nicely. 1,511 subscribers as of this recording. Have a great day. We'll catch you guys this evening or tomorrow morning.